I bowen duve puti and I believe that you all are covering and learning the things what we have been learning in our previous session also great 10 science is one more time in front of you we have been talking about chemical basis of life as per the sri lankan government school syllabus and we will learn about protein today in this video number 8 of chapter number 1 so what we will learn about protein yes let's understand certain things what is protein consists of what is protein consists of and protein in our body we will understand certain things about it so are we ready and we are ready to learn this protein protein is an essential constituent in all living cells in the cells the protein you find in the human body i'm talking about yes now what is in it what is in this protein all right always present carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen remember that one when we were talking about carbohydrate carbon hydrogen oxygen those were present but in protein it's another one nitrogen is also present sometimes sulfur can also be present in protein so protein remember once again carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen present and sometimes sulfur is also present now 17% of the mature human body is composed of proteins protein is a complex molecule made up of a polymerized amino acid molecule protein is a complex molecule made up of polymerized amino acid molecules remember that one now meat fish egg white cereals are some of the foods rich with proteins if you're taking meat if you're ma- taking fish or egg or cereal in the morning you'll be able to get some good proteins now there is something you must learn as extra right it's about amino acids r here over here is representing a group containing both carbon and hydrogen right r represent a group containing both carbon and hydrogen due to the change in r group due to the change in which group r group there is r group change will happen 20 different amino acids are present 20 different amino acids are present now all proteins represent in organisms from bacteria to human are made up of these 20 different amino acids combined in different sequences so that's an extra definite knowledge yes now the simplest amino acid is glycine yes here hydrogen is present as the r group here the hydrogen is present as the r group some amino acids cannot be synthesized within the body so they have to be taken from outside with food therefore they are known as essential amino acid we're going to see that one different protein present in plants and animal we will see that we can take from outside protein present in muscles myosin actin protein present in bones yes osein proteins present in red blood cells hemoglobin proteins present in hair keratin protein present in leguminous food legumin protein present in wheat gluten proteins present in egg white albumin these are important for your body that you can take and these are essential amino acids now we know that and we came to know how and what is protein consists of what is protein consists of and some proteins in the body how it works is not a worth idea that we got some idea and knowledge about protein and what protein exactly consists of apart from carbohydrate carbohydrate got carbon hydrogen and oxygen but in protein nitrogen is there and sometimes the sulfur is also there we came to know and i'm going to meet you in another beautiful session to talk about more about protein till then bye bye and take care of yourself want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell button 
And if you need more information, you can always leave coming to us. And thank you for subscribing and commenting.